Axiom likelihood estimation is commonly used to estimate mediation models. One common modeling strategy is to first estimate a full mediation model, then check if that fits the data. If it doesn't, then uh, go for a partial mediation model. This strategy, however, has some issues. Let's take a look at what the full mediation model actually tests. So this is from a model testing video. And what this model test does is not testing the absence of this path. Rather, what is tested is whether this model z, x, x, y is adequate in explaining the correlation between z and y. There are, of course, a number of different alternative models that could be considered when this model is rejected as it is in this example. This uh, graphic is from Klein's article and he lists a subset of the models that you can form using uh, these uh, three variables that are all just identified. So all these models fit the data well and they could be all perfectly and they could be used as alternatives for the full mediation model that, that I just demonstrated. So because there are multiple different equivalent models that explain the data equally well, then the rejection of the full mediation model does not imply that the particular alternative should be accepted. So model acceptance choices should be uh, made based on theory. However, the partial mediation model may not be the theoretically the most desirable model. Let's take a look at an example. So this example comes from Unsworth who studied uh, creative requirement and creativity uh, in the context of a hospital. So creative requirement is basically uh, how much creativity the, uh, the uh, task or the, the job of a person requires. And then they had some antecedents and they uh, build a theory that these uh, characteristics of, of leaders and, and the work environment lead to creative requirement, which in turn influences individual level creativity. So this is a full mediation model. This model did not fit the data and then the researchers went for partial mediation model. However, that is not the only choice that they could have made. Another appealing alternative is to simply have these error terms to be correlated. So the full mediation model simply does say, states that the um, full mediation relationship is not adequate for explaining the correlation between creativity and autonomy and if we add these endogenous relationship here, then we can improve the model fit. So which one is, is more theoretically appealing? Having these omitted causes of creativity and creative requirement to be correlated or having a partial mediation model. There are two good arguments for why we should allow these uh, error terms to be correlated when we are doing these full mediation models. The argument number one is that M and Y are often conceptually related and therefore they probably have a common cause. So if we think about creative requirement of a, of a task or job and then creativity of an individual, perhaps that is those are both related to the overall level of creativity required in the organization. And if the organization is, is uh, something uh, works in an environment where creativity is emphasized, then that may be a cause for creative requirement for individual t tasks or jobs and that could also cause the organization to hire creative people. So there could be an omitted common cause because these are conceptually related. Another argument for including this correlation is that we don't know what the omitted causes of U, M and U, Y are and thus we cannot justify the assumption that they are uncorrelated. And we cannot even in principle know what are the, all the causes of creativity. If we knew all the causes of creativity, then this study of whether creative requirement causes creativity would not even be needed. So if we don't know what these omitted causes are, then how, how could we possibly make the, or justify the assumption that they are uncorrelated? And uh, this um, is particularly well made by this article by John Antonakis and co-authors who state that in their opinion, in principle, this uh, correlation should be always freed unless there is a strong a priori reason for not doing so. And this is something that uh, any a researcher who does mediation models, particularly if uh, the theory suggests the full mediation, should consider.